Darwin comes alive this weekend with the Darwin Cup Carnival. TVN will bring you all the racing action the Northern Territory has to offer. Hosted by our own Caroline Searcy, Saturday the 4th of August is Palmerston Sprint Day. Then tune into TVN on Monday the 6th for the Darwin Cup. What's the prestigious event? The Darwin Cup Carnival, live on TVN. Two thousand and seven. Brad Starr, heavily back favourite, Nozzy best back to beat him. Light on, ready to go. Down to the judge, one lap of the track, racing in the Carlton Draft, Darwin Cup, and Boz went up in the air when the starter said go. He missed it by a length and a half. Euler got away well with Ospak and Nozzy not too far away either as general market. Jill springs out deep on the track is going forward, and so is Dandy Jester about eight and ten deep. As they head out of the straight on the first occasion and aided by the inside, Euler went to the front from Ospak and Nozzy third the outside of him. A length and a half to General Market, buried back along the rails about fifth is Oglo. Brad Starr's a little bit deep as they work on the far side with Seven Hills. Further back in the field then, out deep on the track trying to improve was Montfortuso. About two or three lengths away came Boz who blew the start and just like a dream last, Dandy Jest is the one that was deep and is trying to trek forward into the back and Jill Springs takes them up to the thousand by about a half length for Euler, a length away third, Nozzy with the run of the race. Two lengths, Ospak over on the inside of General Market, Dandy Jester is just behind that bunch with Seven Hills, a length and a half to Oblo, well back Montfortuso, the outside of the favourite, Brad Starr, two or three lengths away, just like a dream and Boz has dropped right away by about five or six lengths. 700 to go and it's Yule Springs in front of General Market about to issue a challenge. Euler is battling away, third over on the rails from Nozzy. Seven Hills coming forward in a hurry. Brad Starr around the outside of Ospak is starting to run into the race with a big finish. Montfortuso is going with him as well. Two or three lengths further back, just like a dream from Oblo under the whip. And forget Dandy Jester and Boz. Into the home stretch they race and General Market has hit the lead in the cup and kicked away. He's still in front of Jill Springs down the outside. Nozzy tries hard. Brad Starr further back. Euler can't win either can Montfortuso or Ospak. General Market has a big lead with 50 to go from Nozzy and he's going to be too good. General Market about two in front of Nozzy and Brad Starr and General Market wins the cup by about two and a quarter over Nozzy. Brad Starr's got up to run third. Never a serious threat. Then Oblo, who made ground late, three or four lengths away. Jill Springs from Seven Hills. Ospak and Montfortuso finished well back with Euler, who was beaten at the 600. Break then, just like a dream, and the last two home, Boz and Dandy Jester. A flourish of the whip there by Mark Pegas, getting a general market across the line first. Again, a front runner winning here today on Darwin Cup Day in the feature race, the Darwin Cup, as we've seen all day. Nozzy Gallant in defeat to last year's winner, and Brad Starry raced midfield, but he just didn't have enough run on over the 2000. Meters, but general market all on us with him and to Michael Hickmont, of course, the trainer here from Darwin. Oh, good ride, Mark Pegas. Good ride, this one. General market just set off the speed. They just went hard. I knew they were going to come out.